Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and I am totally prepping you for the non-calculator section of the GED here. A lot of different skills in this problem appear on that. Um, ordering numbers, they like to have you order numbers on the GED, although it'll probably have fractions and decimals in it when you do. Um, absolute value bars, they love the absolute value bars on those first five of the GED and also negatives. Um, you're probably going to see all those things, so uh, let's take a look at this example here. It says, arrange the following in order from least to greatest. So I'm just comparing numbers here. I want to find the smallest thing to the greatest thing. Now, comparing numbers is simple when the numbers are simplified or they're in a form that you understand. So right now, some of these numbers are simplified and others aren't. A negative three is already simplified. There's nothing to do there. But I would not try to deal with the opposite of negative two. It's too confusing for most students to handle until it's simplified. So let's simplify it. Let's do that math. Let's take the opposite of negative two. That's what that says. Well, of course, the opposite of negative two is just positive two. On. Let's look at the next one. This one, what does that say? Those are absolute value bars. Those bars up and down there, absolute value. Absolute value is defined as, whoa, I can't spell. So I'm a math teacher, not an English teacher, I guess, you guys. Absolute value. Okay, the absolute value of a number is defined as that number, so four, that number's distance from zero on a number line. How far is four from zero on a number line? Now that sounds like a silly question because of course four is just four units away from zero. That's why it's called four. All absolute value bars really do is make a number positive. If you already have a number that's positive, I did, I had positive four, it's still just gonna be positive. So absolute value of four is four, nice. Now of course zero is just zero, that's easy. Uh, but careful, now we have another absolute value, and this one says the absolute value of negative 1. So once again, absolute value bar asks me how far is this number, negative 1, from 0 on a number line, and of course, it's just one unit away. And you can see that's why I say it makes everything positive. Since distance is always positive, absolute value bars always make its insides positive. So that negative 1 becomes a positive 1. And now it's easy to order these numbers from least to greatest. I'll start with the negative number here, because negatives are always less of less value than positives. So negative three, and then of course zero would be next. And then would come my one that has a value of one. So the absolute value of negative one has a value of one. Then this guy we said had a value of two. So the opposite of negative two would come next. And this guy we said has a value of four. So the absolute value of four would come next. And there are my numbers ordered from least to greatest. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.